that Jacob Zuma is liable for tax on all the upgrades that were done to his personal home. We're asking Tom Moyani not to shirk off his responsibility. He went after Julius Malema and Julius Malema is now dealing with his tax matter. If you take all the items that Jacob Zuma accrued as a function of fringe benefit or or it's actually all tax, it's just additional income. That in fact Jacob Zuma owes the people of South Africa, because all of our tax contributes to the well-being of the people of South Africa, 63.9 million rands. <laughs> I've got to be careful. He serves on our finance, on our, on our finance portfolio and is the deputy chairman. We've taken the schedule that was produced by Public Works, which detailed all the work done and the costs involved. And we've taken those items which will remain the property of President Zuma even after he is no longer the president. We asked the question to Finance Minister Pravin Gordon, and the question to Pravin was, does the president become exempt from tax? And in fact, his response, and I quote,